Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Um, I know it's, it's two in, in quite a quick succession. Um, sorry about all the audio issues and that on the last one. I hopefully, I haven't actually edited that one yet, so uh, hopefully that will be sorted out. But um, this time I'm just I'm going back to basics and using the old school mic, so uh, hopefully that's all good. Um, anyway, I'll crack on. Thanks very much for any new subscribers, of course. Uh, I'm actually, it's actually starting to creep up now. Um, I'm not a million miles away from 100 subscribers. Yes, of course, that's not exactly huge in the grand YouTube scheme of things, but uh, it's, it's nice to know. It's nice to know that people are watching my videos and hopefully finding them useful. Now, this is one that might not be particularly popular, this video. Uh, I don't know what, obviously, anyone who's watching this, I don't know what their opinion is. So I'm kind of just going to have to give my opinion. And if you don't agree with me, that's brilliant. That's fine. Please let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments below. I'm mean, even dislike the video if you don't believe, don't agree with me. You know, I'm very happy to open a debate here. I think that's much more... Uh, I think that's much more beneficial than everyone just going, yeah, Phil, you're right, you're right, you're right. Although if you do agree with me, then cheers, thanks very much. Um, if you do agree with me, like, like the video, subscribe, do all of that, notifications and all, all of that sort of stuff that everyone asks you to do. Yeah, anyway, let's crack on. Casino streamers. Now, um, I doubt, I very much doubt I'm going to have to explain casino streamers or the concept of casino streamers to anyone. But just to, in case you don't know what I'm talking about... Basically, there is quite a, a large amount of people on YouTube that make videos of them playing at online casinos. Typically, they play slots, um, and the videos tend to form in, fall into one of two formats. They either live stream, so they'll sit there and they'll play on an online casino while you watch, or you can obviously watch it afterwards, or they will basically make a compilation of their session. So they will just literally cut out all the dead spins on the slots. They'll just show you the bonuses, the big wins, etc., 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 now, there are some big, big players in this game. Um, I'll name them, because ultimately I'm not here to criticise them as such. So, um, obviously the Bandit is is possibly... The Bandit and Rock and Roller are obviously two OGs of the uh, of the game, um, and the two most established casino streamers. And you've got the likes of uh, Jimbo, Craig Slot, Slot Spinner, um, Let's Give It A Spin, Kim, actually he's probably one of the older ones as well. But there's all these these big names now who uh, have, have become quite established in this in this realm. And people have asked me, actually, in the comments, and people have asked me personally, uh, and, and via DMs, can I make a video on casino streamers, Tell you know, telling my side and, and what I think of casino streamers? Firstly, I will say I will not support back, and I will openly criticise any casino streamer who is manipulating their audience, or who is lying to their audience. So I'm talking of fake streamers. So those who are using fake money, money given to them by the casinos, fake balances, people who are even playing on free play and somehow managing to hide it from the user. Those who manipulate the outcome, so those who edit their videos in such a way that a losing session becomes a winning session. Or possibly the most common variety, those that only show you big wins. Those that only, that maybe live stream, but then only post big wins onto YouTube. So if you don't follow them on Twitch or whatever, and you only watch their videos on YouTube, all you see are big wins. I don't have a lot of time for these people because ultimately they are misrepresenting the game in order to get you to sign up to their affiliate links to therefore make money off the back of your losses. So in case you didn't know how that works, I mentioned it sort of quite, I went through it quite thoroughly in my last video, but um, basically most casino streamers are doing it for profit. It's, it's their business and that's nothing wrong with that. As long as they're running their business business in a legitimate way, I don't have an issue with that. But the way they make their money is they put the content out there, they put the videos out there. They encourage you or they promote a particular site for you to sign up to via a link they normally have, either in the YouTube description or they'll divert you to their website. And you, once you click on that link, that link is very much attributed to them. So once you click through that link, if you then sign up, they will get, a kickback from the casino that could be a one-off payment of 25 quid 50 quid whatever for getting someone to sign up or what they can do sometimes is get a revenue share system whereby they then get a percentage of your net losses so any money you lose at that casino they will get a, a slice of um, so that's how basically how casino affiliation works I think I'll probably do a video on casino affiliation just to sort of give you a bit of a better idea how that works but so it is of course in their interests for them to promote these casinos possibly in a positive light to get you to sign up because if you sign up then obviously you then can potentially lose money or they will either way they will make some money off that acquisition so if they continually posted losing videos and basically put the casino games in a really bad light then yes of course it's, it's going to discourage people from signing up it's going to 
stop people from wanting to click that link and to actually effectively give them some money. So if you are misrepresenting the way the casino games play, if you're showing only winnings, if you're lying to your customers, if you're using fake funds, then I've absolutely no time at all for you. Um, there are some well-known fake streamers out there. I won't name names because ultimately, if you if you watch these videos, you'll know who these people are. I don't really want to get involved in any controversy, to be completely honest with you. That's not really what my videos are for. Um, so that's, that's casino streamers anyway. So do I think casino streamers are a bad thing? Uh, by and large, yes, they do. I must admit, um, full disclosure, there are some of them that I watch occasionally. I actually used it in the early stages of my recovery uh, as a sort of a, a sort of distraction tactic. It worked for me. What I would say is exercise that with extreme caution. If you don't watch them and you are in the stage of recovery and actually your recovery is going well, don't go and watch the casino streamers thinking it's going to scratch the itch because there's a good chance it might draw you back in. But I used it in the early stages of my recovery. I used to watch these videos. It kind of gave me a little bit of a fix from the slots, particularly during the losing videos, which is kind of what I mentioned previously. Um, it gave me a little bit of a fix. It sort of worked for me, but like I say, if, if you're on, if you're recovering and your recovery is going well so far without doing this, please don't take this advice. Don't go and rush off and go and watch some casino videos because it could well lead you back into gambling. So there is potentially that little bit of benefit there. And of course, for those who are susceptible to gambling addiction and those who don't gamble at all and never get encouraged to go and sign up and play these games, then yes, it could be a bit of free entertainment, of course, and that's what YouTube is here to offer, apart from videos like this, where I just bore you with my monotone voice and try and try and give people a, a bit of useful advice. Why do I think they're a bad thing? Well, I think they very much devalue money. I think this is my primary problem with online casinos, particularly now, particularly with the big players, and we're talking the rock and rollers and the bandits of this world, but even the Jimbos and the Craigs, they are playing at stakes which are theoretically or should be inaccessible to the majority of people. And they're treating the lower stakes or their normal stakes, you know, as, as sort of relatively relatively low investment. Quite often they're playing at stakes which are beyond really what anyone watching the videos could realistically afford or certainly could realistically afford to lose and when they play on normal stakes what well, they say on normal stakes they are still relatively high stakes but become conditioned to think that maybe playing two pound three pound a spin is a low stake when you actually look at that in real money terms and you look how quickly you can spin and how many spins go through in a minute etc 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 if you're playing a two pound stake that's still a massive massive amount of money per hour that you could potentially lose. But that becomes the norm. But then you get the likes of Rock and Roller, who's doing, you know, thousands and thousands of, on a spin of roulette. Or the Bandit, who recently lost £60,000 playing one session of, of Real King. The problem is, is this makes you lose sight. When I used to play slots, I started playing 40p, 20p, 40p, 60p even. 60p to me was quite a high stake. And it's, it's still a lot of money. You can still potentially spend a lot of money playing at that low stake. And the problem is, is watching these videos makes you think that is a low stake. It makes you think that somehow you should be playing these higher stakes and that £2, £3 is normal. It normalises the loss of £1,000 in a session. It normalises a redeposit of £1,000. I think it's fair to say that most people won't see the way in which the bandit gambles sometimes and that the big roulette sessions that Roller has... I don't think people will always see those as normal. I think very few people would look at that and think that's normal behaviour. So I think, I'm not saying these guys should have a pass, but I think saying, you know, you, you can lose £60,000 in a session, I think even even Bandit mentions it in his videos, he says, you know, that it's, it's a ridiculous sum of money. But most importantly, and here comes the crunch, he's playing within his means. Now, how is he playing within his means? And I think this is this is what we have to look at. Even Craig, who plays relatively normal stakes most of the time, he has lost thousands over the last few weeks. I couldn't afford to lose £1,000 in a few weeks, or a couple of weeks, or four or five videos. It couldn't be done. And most people, that could be, if you lose five, six £6,000, that could be a year's disposable income. Not your, your, not your whole income, but the disposable part of it. And you could have lost that in a week. So how can they afford it? Well, it's fairly obvious how they can afford it. They can afford it off the back of your losses. You know, and, and I don't disrespect the hustle. I'm not getting at these guys. But they are the reason they can afford to make these videos and they can afford to lose this money time and time again is because of your losses. Because you've signed up through their affiliate programs and they are getting a proportion of your losses or they are getting money because they have got you to sign up. 
So this is why they can afford it. So you can't afford if if you they they basically can afford to play these games because they've got that money coming in constantly, month after month after month from historical signups. So they, that's why when the bandit deposits a thousand pounds on a Sunday slot session and he loses it really quickly, he'll just bung another thousand pound in. I can't even contemplate bunging another thousand pound in. I mean, I've had some big losses in my time, of course I have, but not that consistently. I can't consistently spend that sort of money playing games, and you shouldn't either. So if you do still gamble, then don't don't aspire to these stakes. Don't even aspire to what they call normal stakes of two, three pound, because ultimately you could be spending significantly more than you can afford to lose, and that's always the thing. Only gamble what you can afford to lose, and they'll say it, and a bit of... I must admit, I think find some of it a little bit disingenuous, because they don't want you to spend what you can afford to lose. They want you to lose as much as possible, and why wouldn't they? That's their business. I don't criticise them for that. So I'm not going to stand. I'm not going to sit here and publicly slate, you know, casino streamers because I've watched them, and they're making money. I mean, the bandit from sources I have could retire tomorrow, but fair play to him. I don't disrespect that. He's, you know, he's worked hard for it. Um in building the channel and all the rest of it. But he's not got that money. That money hasn't come from thin air. Casinos aren't paying him that money for fun. They're paying it because he's generating them income. He's bringing them customers who are losing more, significantly more, than he's getting paid. And look how well he's doing. So, yep, no hatred towards casino streamers. I'm not here to slate anyone. I'm not calling anyone out apart from the fakes, and we all know who they are anyway. But just be careful. If you do watch these guys, don't try and emulate them. Don't believe it when they say that two and three pound is a normal stake. That's big stake. And best of all, just watch the videos if you're going to watch them. Yourself exclude yourself from the casino, so then the temptation isn't there. Get GamStop in place. Just do it. I'll see you on the next one.